This next video is a must-see. It is with Jennifer Schneider. It's an interview that I did with her. And she's the doctor that I talk about on the PBS show, as well as in my book, who was presented to the FDA twice regarding medications that are used for osteoporosis. And some people end up with fractures that they're trying to avoid because they're taking these medications too long or they haven't been assessed properly in the first place. It's a must-see. I hope you enjoy this uh, very informative presentation with Jennifer Schneider. Thank you. Welcome. I have a wonderful guest here today, somebody who I consider a shero, if you will. Uh, Dr. Schneider uh, is a physician uh, of internal medicine, and she herself has sustained a fracture which she'll be talking about as a result of taking the most popular medications for osteoporosis, Fosamax. So Dr. Schneider, hello. Hi, Dr. Simpson. I'm happy to be here. Oh, I'm so happy for you to be here too. Well, in 2001, I was on a subway in New York. And as the train came to uh, slow down to enter a station, it jolted for a minute and I shifted my weight from my left leg to my right leg. And all of a sudden I felt my right femur breaking. I heard it and I felt it and I fell down, of course, to the ground. And in the emergency room, they couldn't understand. This just doesn't happen. This Breaking the middle of your femur, which is what it turned out I had done, the shaft of the femur, uh, namely, it's not a hip fracture, it's the actual middle of the femur. This is unheard of in, unless you had fallen off a roof or been in a serious car accident or ski accident. Um, and the only reason they had to believe me that I said that I was just standing there and it broke was because I said I was a physician. So it was completely a mystery as to what had happened to me until years later when I came across an, a published article that had nine cases of strange fractures like that that occurred with minimal or no trauma. Mine was obviously no trauma, and that's what makes it called atypical. It's not the way one fractures that bone usually. And after I heard about, I had read this article, I finally understood what had happened to me and uh, wrote up my story in an article that was published in a medical journal. And then I started hearing from other women uh, and men that had had a similar experience. So I developed a... Uh, uh, an email support group. Um, and right now I have over 200 people and every week or so I hear from yet another person, which uh, just goes to show you that this is not a rare thing. So that's when I started learning about the the side effect of this uh, fracture, that article of the nine strange cases, what they all had in common, some, most of them were the femur, but there was one of the pelvis and a couple of others. And what they all had in common was they had been on several years of a bisphosphonate called Fosamax. People can see the bisphosphonates. Uh, there are many of them. Fosamax is one, but they're all in the same category of drugs. And I do want uh, to go back for a moment to that slide of the, uh, uh, that shows how the bones work. These drugs basically go after the osteoclasts and they suppress them. And if doctors, and I know Dr. Snyder's going to talk about this, if doctors want to switch you uh, because you've been on these drugs too long, 